Hello friends, back with another garden update. I ended up changing the air filter on this truck right here. I noticed that I was getting a lot of blue smoke around probably 18, 1900 RPM as soon as it hit boost. Had a buddy tell me to change the air filter on it and it should clean it up some, and it did. So we kind of took it for a little test drive. And now we're gonna play around in the garden some. I'll show you some things that's growing and a little update on some how different beans done better than others. So, so we'll start out with our squash here. As you can see, we've got some growing. Okay, got some little ones starting right there. Now, I normally like these to get just a little bit bigger than this. Once they start getting bumpy, they're no good. And so we kind of had these that I threw out, just maybe give the birds some food or something like that. These are really no count. So that's what happens when it rains a lot, it gets away from you. So once it gets to this size, there's another little one that's starting. Just keep up with them. They're always better that size versus the bigger ones okay let's take a look in here we'll check and see if we got any i picked this yesterday so there's one starting these are awesome though if you never had squash before you just cut them up in slices and bread them in cornmeal and they're really really good so in my previous video you have probably saw me spray this okra as you can tell they're still on it i don't really know how good that spray done or how good it didn't but i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to show you all how to harvest okra or at least how i do i'll go ahead and show you the different processes of how okra blooms it starts out with like a little flower here and then it eventually goes to the next stage which is that right there let me see if i can dig in here and see one that's grew a little more okay now you want to really select your okra somewhere between five six inches once it gets big it's really no good so we're going to go through here and we're going to see if we can spot any like i said i picked this pretty heavy yesterday but on a good hot day like today it's really untelling what you may find and this is literally all uh all picking okra is about looking through the whole stock seeing what you can get or what you can't Okay, here's a couple little ones. It may work. Let me see if I can set my phone up here without making you dizzy or sick. Okay. So basically, take the okra like this, and then just take your knife. Boom. Nice, clean cut. That's really about too long, but in weather like this where it rains a lot and then the sun shines quite a bit, it is hard to keep up with it. Plus, you're always guaranteed a miss or two. Now, the next crop update is our tomatoes, and as you can tell, we have some tomatoes, plenty of green ones. Problem is, is this. Once they get ripe, there's little critters that start gnawing on them, and I don't know if they're birds. I don't know if they're mice, rabbits. This one is pretty low to the ground, so if y'all have any problems like this, let me know. I don't know what anybody really needs to do other than put nets over your tomato plants, but it just is what it is. Next crop update we have is our corn. We had some wind damage come through about a week ago when it blew a lot of it over. This was very odd, too. This thing was... I don't know, I saw a couple that was like this. It was like it was tasseling, but yet it created an ear too. I guess just an open ear, I guess is what you want to call it. Never had really seen much of that. But now the corn looks good once you get in it. And I mean, you can tell that there it's going to be some pretty ears, but it just looks a little ugly where the wind blew it over. But like I said, we should have a pretty good crop if we can keep the bugs out of it. That'll be the biggest thing. Told I already told the people at work that they better be ready because I'm going to be bringing them a lot of corn. So Now, this is something that I was disappointed with, and I don't know if maybe I put them too thick. Uh, very good possibility that I did. My white half runners did not make anything. They were full of vines, full of blooms, but they didn't make hardly any beans. Let me know in the comments below if maybe I done something wrong. Let me know maybe I needed to trellis, trellis them. Maybe I put them too thick, but something just did not make these things have beans on them i don't know what it was but now my peanut beans down here 
they actually done pretty good, which is what I'm going to try to get some footage of us picking some tonight. And what I'm going to do, if I can stay out of my infamous cucumber vines, I'm going to go through and I'm going to roll all these vines over. My cucumbers got into my beans a little and we're liable to find some very big cucumbers in here. Take some of these vines out of here. Let me know also in the comments what you all normally do. Do you all pick them or do you all pull the whole plant up and then pick them under the shade? Different people in my area do different things. You can also take another approach to picking. Sometimes I find this to be easier. Just kinda doing like a catcher's pose. Bouncing on your feet and stay until you get tired and then go home. Well, it looks like it's about got dark on us here. Picked a few beans. Just want to give you all a little garden update. Stay tuned. Hopefully we'll have some maybe corn picking videos, how we put up corn, how we put up beans, different videos like that to add to the garden series. Thank you all for watching my channel. If you all have any advice, any tips, any comments, drop them below. All right, I love hearing advice and love hearing from you all. Thanks for watching.